Hey everyone, in this video, you'll see how to sell memberships as gifts on your MemberPress site with the MemberPress gifting add-on. You'll be able to sell any membership, product, course, or anything as a gift on your MemberPress website. So with the gifting add-on on your site, a customer can buy a gift membership and right after purchase, send a link to the gift recipient where they can instantly redeem it. Gifting opens up a world of new customers for you. It'll help you sell more memberships and products to a fresh new audience, especially around the holidays. So in this video, first, I'll show you how to install the gifting add-on, and then you'll see how to sell a membership as a gift. And you'll see what the process looks like for your customers too. You'll see how to track gift purchases on the back end of MemberPress, how to see if a gift has been redeemed, and how to send gift emails. Finally, I'll show you how to retain new members with custom expiration reminders for gifts. So before you get started, you'll need to have the MemberPress plugin installed on your WordPress site. Also, you'll need at least one membership in MemberPress created. So it could be a membership selling access to content or a one-off product like an ebook. Next, you'll need to install the gifting add-on. To do that, go to MemberPress and add-ons and then find gifting. And then click to install and activate the add-on. Once it's activated, you'll go to MemberPress and memberships and then click to edit the membership that you want to add the gifting option to. Now just remember that memberships are how things are actually sold on MemberPress. So whether you want to allow gifting on actual memberships or one-time type of products like digital downloads, you'll set up a membership for it here. So whatever you're selling on your site, you can set up gifting on it. So once you have a membership open, here under membership options and the registration tab, you can enable this option to allow this membership to be gifted. So after you enable that, just click update to save the change to the membership. Once it's saved, now gifting's enabled on the membership. So now I'm gonna open my site in a brand new incognito window to show you what this looks like for my customers. If you're not familiar with it, an incognito window lets you view your site as if you're a brand new visitor, so you're not logged in as your site's admin user. And then in the incognito window, I'll go to sign up and choose my monthly membership that I just enabled gifting on. And now here in the registration form, you can see this gifting checkbox has been added. Now I'll go ahead and fill out this form with some fake testing information that I just make up to create a test signup. And then here I'll enable, is this a gift? And then I'll finish the signup with some test payment information. And then I'll click sign up. And it'll take a moment to process. And then when it's done processing, this test customer is prompted with this window to send a gift email. So this test customer just purchased my monthly membership as a gift for someone else. So here in this window, the customer would fill out this information for the gift recipient who they're giving the gift to. So I'll go ahead and fill this out with some info from the customer to their friend and their friend's email. And you can include a note here too. And this note will show up in the email that the recipient gets. Now, since this is all just a test, I'm sending this to my email so I can show you what the email the recipient gets looks like. If you're using an email service that allows it, like Gmail, you can use your email, the plus sign, and then any number, and it'll act as if it's a brand new email for testing. But you'll receive any emails for it in your inbox too. So that's just a handy hack that you can use when testing out your site. Okay, now I'll click to send the gifting email. And you can see that it's sent. And if I close out of this, you can see that I'm automatically taken to this test customer's member account page right after buying the gift membership. And every member on your site has access to this account page and it's where they can view their information, their payments and more. So whenever a customer purchases a gift membership, this new tab is added to their account page, gifts. Here they can see all their gift membership purchases. So you can see right here, the gift membership the customer just bought, and here they can see that it's unclaimed, meaning the recipient hasn't signed up with their link yet, which was just emailed to them. And here the customer can copy the redeem link so they can email it to the recipient again or deliver it to them in another way. And then here, if they click send email, they can see the email was already sent. So now I'll show you the email that the recipient got. So I'll open up my email, because again, I signed up with my email with that plus sign and some random numbers, so I would get it. And here it is. So this is what the recipient would get. 
You can see the subject. Joe has sent you a gift. Joe has sent you a gift for monthly membership content and a custom message here. And here's the link to redeem. And just one note, this is the same link the customer can copy in their account page that we just saw. So the gift recipient would just click on this link and it'll take them to my monthly membership registration page, but without a spot for payment information, since they're signing up for free since it's a gift. It'd be a pretty crappy gift if they had to pay for it. So now I'll fill out this registration form as a test gift recipient. And then I'll sign up. And you can see the transaction went through as a free gift. So now this gift recipient has an account on my site. And here on their account page, if I go to payments, you can see the gift transaction number and the cost to them as being free. Now, just one note. If a customer buys a gift membership that's a recurring subscription, such as a monthly membership that's billed every month, the gift itself is only valid for one billing cycle. So in this case, one month. So after the month, if the gift recipient wants to continue having access to content, they'd have to purchase the membership. So on your MemberPress site, they would become one of your regular customers. And we'll see later how to send them a reminder email when their gift membership is expiring, so you can nudge them to buy. And one other thing, if you want to offer gift memberships for people to have access to your site for life, or for a set period of time, like three or six months, for example, you could set up another membership that's a one-time type of payment and then set an expiration time on it. And then you could just price it accordingly. Check out our knowledge base for more information on the different types of memberships and how to set them up. Okay, so now that the gift recipient redeemed their gift and they signed up for my site, they can now access content viewable to my monthly members only. So to show you that, I'll go to my homepage and then click to view some protected content. And you can see the gift recipient can see it. Now, I won't spend time showing you the rule that's protecting this content, but just trust me, it's protected and only members can see it. So we can see the gift recipient's membership access is working. Okay, so now I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my site in a new incognito window. And then go to log in. And then I'll log back in as that test customer, the gift giver. So this is the customer who purchased the gift membership and gave it to his friend. And then once I'm logged in, I'll go to their account page and the gift tab. And since the gift recipient redeemed their gift, you can see here as the gift giver that it's been claimed. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to WordPress as my membership site admin to show you what it looks like on the back end of MemberPress. So here in my dashboard, if I go to MemberPress, and transactions, you can see the gift membership transactions here, one from the gift giver and one for the gift getter. And right here on the transactions page, you can easily find gift transactions by filtering by gifts purchased or gifts claimed. So you would just select one here and then hit filter. And then you can see my one transaction here. Okay, one more thing I wanna show you is how to send automatic reminders about your gifted memberships. So if I go to member press and reminders and click add new, when you install the gifting add-on, it unlocks a new type of reminder that you can use. So first I'll give this one a name. And now here in the dropdown, you can select after gift membership expires. And then you can set a time frame you want this reminder email to go out. For example, five days after this gift membership expires. So the gift recipient will get an email telling them that their gift membership expired, and if they want to keep getting access to content, they'll have to subscribe to the membership again. So this is a really neat way to convert gift getters on your site to paying members. And right here, if you click edit, you can see an email is already set up for you to use, but you can edit it any way that you want. Here you can insert dynamic content based on your user. And you could also add links, like fine tune where you want this potential customer to wind up to buy your stuff, etc. And at any point, if you're editing the email, but you don't like what you wrote, you can always just click reset to default right here, and it'll take it back to its default email. So when you're done editing, just be sure to click here to save this reminder. See our knowledge base for more information about MemberPress reminders, how to set them up, and how they all work. And that's it. You've now seen how to offer gift memberships on your MemberPress site. See our knowledge base page on the gifting add-on for more information. And be sure to follow our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on all things MemberPress. Thanks for watching. 
If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.